The financial crisis of 2008 set the stage for growing concerns about pensions, both private and public. People lost confidence in banks and the financial industry as their individual savings lost value overnight. Workplace pension plans came under severe stress. Canadians from all walks of life were concerned. The Canadian Labour Congress saw the storm coming and quickly launched a countrywide campaign to protect all Canadian workers. On Labour Day, our Canadian Labour Congress, your Canadian Labour Congress, is going to kick off a campaign to propose doubling CPP benefits over the next seven to ten years. The CLC and its affiliates swung into action and carried the campaign forward with dramatic success. They got help and support from retirees' organizations, anti-poverty groups, and student organizations like the Canadian Federation of Students. What happened was we uh, helped educate our members. We helped educate the general public. We lobbied uh, politicians from municipal level, from a provincial level, from a federal level all with the goal of putting pressure on the federal government. What this campaign did was bring people together, bring unions together, bring the issues together so that the government had no choice but to look at it and actually do something about it. Workers spoke to politicians from every level of government, from municipal mayors and councils to provincial politicians and governments to federal members of parliament and ministers. At first, they weren't receptive, but the CLC and its affiliates never gave up. After months of intensive campaigning, by June of 2010, eight of the ten provinces endorsed expanding the Canada Pension Plan. We lobbied, uh, of course, Wayne Marston, who is the Member of Par Parliament in Hamilton East Stony Creek, and of course we were met tremendously. He himself brought a motion to the floor in Parliament with regards to pension reform. I had a conversation with uh, Mayor Fred Eisenberger. He actually took the message and the, the Canadian Federation of Municipalities was meeting a few weeks later and they met and he was one of the people that actually supported this, this position and in fact it was a unanimous position by the Canadian Federation of Municipalities to endorse the CLC position. In Brampton, as well as other areas of the country, the CLC-trained activists built a groundswell that forced federal politicians to act. The message got across to the MPs that this pension reform, this pension campaign that the CLC is doing is crucial if they want to win next time. So the fact that there was a campaign so concentrated in their area regarding pension reform, this made a difference in their attention towards it. All of a sudden, they cared. Meanwhile, across the country from coast to coast to coast, in meeting halls and in rallies, thousands of union and non-union workers made their concerns known, not just to protect those who saw their pension plans gutted by bankruptcy, but also to protect all workers. You can judge your country by the way it treats its retired workers, its pensioners. And I ask you, how do you judge this country the way they're treating us now? Seniors who spend a lifetime building this country should not have to live in poverty. We're simply saying the Canada Pension Plan, the CPP, must be double so people can live in dignity when they retire. We need to fix it. We need to be able to help people like my mother and father who, while they've worked tirelessly all their lives, are not being able to make ends meet. According to polls, close to 80% of Canadians agree with us. People deserve to live in dignity after a lifetime of work. They agree the CPP needed to be improved for future generations. During the 2011 federal election, retirement security was an election issue because the CLC, its affiliates and all our supporters made it an issue. The Canadian Labour Congress retirement security campaign came close to victory. We have public support because unions do best when they are seen as working for everyone. The challenge for us now is to finish the job. The CLC and its affiliates 
are up to that challenge, bringing retirement security to everyone.